Why do cats shed so much? Is there anything we can do to help this problem? You bet there is. Stay put. Do you have a cat? I have a cat. I love my cat. But she sheds so much. Why do they shed so much? Why do cats shed so much? Seems the more they shed, the more they cough up them fur balls and those hair balls and throw them up all over the couch, your tables, everywhere that you don't want to see cat puke. I'll tell you what, guys. There's a reason why our cats throw up a lot of hair balls. It's because they're shedding and they're constantly grooming themselves and they need to be bathed and they need to be brushed. And that's the only solution. And it's simple. I'm going to show you. The telltale sign that your cat needs a bath is when they are throwing up excessively. You start to see a lot of throw up, it's time. That means they're ingesting way too much hair because they're constantly grooming themselves. Let me show you how easy it is to fix this shedding problem. It starts with a nice gentle shampoo, a really good conditioner, and a very good comb. That's all you need. And your shedding problems are going to be over, I'm telling you. This is Nature's Specialty Sun Guard Conditioner. I absolutely love it. It dilutes 64 to 1, and it is the best for de-shedding cats. Link in the description below. Our shampoo that we're using today is made by Tropiclean. It's an aimable which means it needs no dilution, it's ready to use. So stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use these products and how effective they are and how they're gonna help you too. So here's my cat, this is Liv. She is a long-haired Maine Coon mix. She's beautiful, but she sheds a lot and lately she has been throwing up like crazy and I know she is definitely ingesting too much hair. So it's time to take care of that for her. Before I get her in the tub, I need to brush her out a good bit. I need to loosen up any dander, any loose shedding hair, because it is going to slough right off in the bath, especially after we wash her and we condition her. And then we're gonna use that comb, guys. That's a secret and it's coming. Now I only need to wash Livy only about twice a year, that's it. She takes care of herself very well, but she's constantly grooming herself when her shedding is excessive, it makes her sick. So I'm gonna help her out. I'm gonna use lukewarm water, guys, to cool, never hot. Hot water is too offensive to a dog or a cat. It opens their pores up, it invites bacteria into their skin. Always remember, cool water, lukewarm water, never any warmer than that. So I don't wet their head or their face until I'm ready to wash it, which is the last thing I wash because it annoys them. So I'm just going to thoroughly rinse my cat, guys, thoroughly, over rinse. That means over rinse. You can't rinse enough. It's loosening up all the dander, all the dirt and stuff that's, that's against their skin in their coat. And then we're going to give them a good bath. Now take notice, I am using a groomer's helper grooming loop to keep Livy where I need her in the tub. You guys can purchase these as well on Amazon. They're about $15 prime shipping, which means free shipping. You can also get a hook that you can suction cup to your tub or your sink to keep them where you want them. And that's crucial in bathing a cat especially. They do not particularly like to be bathed. Some of them do, but most of them don't. Still with me? We're just beginning. We're still rinsing. Over rinse, remember that. We're getting ready to wash. Now you may be wondering, we're still rinsing this cat. Why are we still rinsing her? Well, let's think of it this way, guys. We want that skin to soften up. Not the skin so much as we want anything that is crusted on it to soften up. You know, they scratch themselves all the time when they're cleaning themselves. Liv, she's not the clog, so she scratches herself a lot. So we want to soften up any dander, debris, buildup on their coat, just the same as when we're in the tub. Now we're finally ready to try this shampoo on this cat. I'm gonna use the Tropiclean Aimable. There's gonna be a link in the description below. I'll tell you why I like this product on my cat and on any cat. It's hypoallergenic. You can also wash their face. It's safe for their face. It does not burn the eyes. It's very gentle. And that's why I choose to use this on Liv. It smells amazing. This particular one smells like sweet peas and coconut or something. It's, it's a pretty fabulous scent. But it cleans very easily. It rinses very clean and quick. And that's important. We want to rinse everything out of their coat. We're getting ready to condition her. So stay put for that because that is my number one favorite product for bathing cats. So let's do this. It's ready, no dilution needed. It's already dilutable. Don't forget most shampoos and conditioners you need to dilute 
or else they will not work properly. This aimable travel clean product is ready to go. It's very lightweight. It is hypoallergenic. It's safe for kittens and for puppies. It's very good, guys. I'm telling you, this is a great product if you're going to wash your cat at home. You can see that it lathers very, very nicely and it gets right in there. Now, I like to lather them up all over. I leave the head for last, but lather them up all over and let that lather do its job. Let it work. We've already loosened up all kinds of yucky stuff on the skin when we pre-brush and we rinsed. Remember that? We over-rinsed. We've got this skin, let's just say pruny, like it would be if we were soaking in the tub. That means the yucky stuff is ready to come off and that's the reason we're bathing them. We're trying to rejuvenate the skin. So don't forget, we've got to get underneath them. We've got to get all their little areas behind them, in their little paw pads, everywhere. It's important to wash thoroughly every little ounce of your animal when you're bathing them. Are you ready to see what that magic of the conditioner and the comb's gonna do for your cat? I'm ready. I can't wait to show you. This is the secret, guys. You have to thoroughly wash them first. Now we just did that, we're good. It's time to condition and it's time to get out that magic comb that I'm gonna show you is the comb to use on a cat. It is a rotating teeth comb. Let's do this. So let's apply some of this SunGuard conditioner, which is made by Nature Specialty. I did not dilute it, so I am adding a little water to it as I apply it to my cat lid. You definitely want this to work its way through the coat, and if you apply it 100% without dilution, it will not do that. So you definitely have to add water. Uh, I would dilute it first, but as a groomer, I do realize that I know the ratios. I'm pretty good with that. Now while this conditioner is all worked through her coat and it is still in the coat, I am going to use that rotating teeth comb to gently comb her coat thoroughly with the lay of the coat, the way the coat wants to lay, the coat falls, the lay of the coat. I am combing in that direction and I'm going to get out all this hair. I'm telling you, it just comes right out with this conditioner. This conditioner is like a little magic silky glove that you put on your cat. It's just amazing. It's just pulling out all the dead coat with ease. That's the important thing. Even back here, Liv has tangles. Not a problem. That conditioner is like silk and the comb is so gentle in this coat, but very effective. So let's add a little bit more in here. Let's continue this process. This is what is going to de-shed your cat, guys. I'm telling you, this is the secret. Clean cat, the conditioner, and then this comb is just going to gently pull through there. I'm telling you, these combs are great, and they're so inexpensive. You really should pick one up. There's a link in the description below. I think you can get one for like $8 or something with prime shipping. It's just perfect and it's perfect for your cat, and it works right through these tangles. Take my advice, this is one of the best things that you can do for your cat's health and well-being. Not to mention the health and well-being of you and your family when you are ridding your cat of some of this unnecessary hair that they are carting around with them all over your house. The results that you're gonna get from performing this procedure on your cat maybe twice a year by using these products and tools, you are going to be so happy and it really really isn't too much to ask and you will love your cat and you will love touching your silky beautiful not shedding cat when you're done with this process now i didn't go out and tell you to buy any weird tools or brushes that have batteries to be installed or space gloves to groom your animal because I'll tell you why that's just for you to spend your money I'm not trying to get you to spend your money I'm just trying to help you take care of your cat the right way I'm not trying to get you to buy things that are gonna sit under your sink and you go why did I buy that the advertisement looked great this isn't an advertisement this is for you this is for your cat now the only thing not to do is thoroughly rinse this conditioner off of your cat. As you can see, it rinses off like silk. You can see that. Look at that. It is an amazing conditioner and it really, really helps. Look at the hair in the tub that I got off of Liv. Very easily and very gently. the tub and 
I'll show you how I dry Livy. The first thing I do is I make sure that I thoroughly towel her off. It's important to get as much water off of them as you can. Cats don't enjoy the process of drying, so let's just soak as much of this water off of her as we can with towels and get them nice and toweled off. They like this part. This is the fun part. They enjoy it. It's like a little massage. Yeah, they love this part. No problem. You may not be able to dry your cat at home, and I don't use a high velocity dryer on Liv. I'll show you in a second what I do to dry Liv. But at this point, you guys could just let your cat air dry after you've thoroughly dried them like this with a towel. Then you could just wait until they're dry and come back and maybe run a comb through them one more time. But at this point, this is what I do with Livy. I fire up my stand dryer. I don't put it on high, high heat, just medium heat. And I put Livy in a pet carrier. I put a towel on the bottom just to soak up any moisture as she's sitting there. The pet carrier has vents and louvers all the way around it. And I just kind of use the pet carrier to contain Liv as I continuously move the stand dryer from side to side. Just blow some air in there on her. And I'm not concerned about getting her thoroughly dry, really. I just want her to be, for the most part, dry because it's better for her skin to not come out of the bath with moisture on it. It just, you know, water has bacteria in it and all this blah, blah, blah. But I just like her to be fairly dry is my concern. And, and I, I'll move that dryer around her to different places. Now, you may not be able to do this. You also may be able to use a hair dryer gently on low and low heat with your cat at home. Some cats really do enjoy it. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that I've helped you. If I have, or if you have any further questions, please leave a comment in the comments below. I'd be glad to respond to you with anything that you may be wondering or anything that I may have left out in this video. I also would like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything because I produce content for you every week and every Monday at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time, we are live right here from the grooming table and I would love for you to join us.